Hello, I'm Matt Samansky of MacDyne, and I'm here today to talk about a very important aspect of virtual reality, viewer-centered perspective. What is viewer-centered perspective? It's the view we see of the real world based upon the position and orientation of our eyes in space. For example, in the real world, if I wanted to see underneath this desk, I would simply bend down and look underneath it. But if this were a computer-generated world, like the one on the monitor behind me, no matter how I change my perspective, the view stays the same. That's because the software has its own camera or perspective point. If I wanted to change the view, I have to use my mouse and move the scene around. In this case, instead of me moving my perspective around the world, I'm changing the model's position and orientation within the software. In virtual reality, the viewing paradigm has changed. Imagine this picture frame as though it were a display system. Without viewer-centered perspective, the image stays the same. No matter how I change my viewpoint, I always see the same image. But when I add viewer-centered perspective through tracking, the picture frame really becomes a portal into the virtual world. Now, wherever I move the frame, I see more or less of the world behind it. This is what viewer-centered perspective provides. By changing your view relative to the screen, you see different aspects or angles of the environment. By using a larger portal or a larger display system, you can see more or less of the world. In order for the VR software to create the viewer-centered perspective, it must know the user's position and orientation in space. That's accomplished through the use of the tracking system. The tracking system has several infrared cameras that pick up reflective markers attached to the user's glasses. That position and orientation is then calculated by the tracking system and provided to the VR software. The VR software then uses that to create the viewer-centered perspective. Without tracking or viewer-centered perspective, the large display behind me acts like a large monitor. No matter if I move side to side or up or down, in or out, the image doesn't change. Now, with tracking turned on, when I wear the glasses, the view perspective changes based upon my position and orientation in space. If I wanted to see underneath the desk, all I would have to do is bend down. If I wanted to see more of the left of the desk kiosk, all I have to do is step to the right. Here in a view of a turbine, as we move closer to the screen, the more of the world we can see. In fact, we can even see into the cutaway behind it. The screen is acting like a large window or portal into the virtual world. The bigger the window, or more screens there are, the more of the virtual object we can see at any one time. Viewer-centered perspective is a very valuable capability. It allows a user to view a virtual part, plant, assembly, city, or more in a way that's simple and intuitive, because it's the same way we view the real world, by simply moving our heads. It is this intuitive viewing that is so powerful to the user, because it allows them to understand spatial relationship and dimensions in a way much more easily than on the flat monitor screen. It could allow users to make design decisions, walk through a virtual plant, plan a surgical procedure, or understand the best way to service heavy equipment. Please contact your MechDyne account representative to learn more on how virtual reality or 3D immersive displays can help you with your design reviews, physical processes, customer interactions, or anything else involved in making decisions and discoveries.